Good evening. Good evening. Phil Thatch here, 10.05 p.m. United States Eastern Time on May the 21st, a Thursday night. And um, let's talk a little bit. I've been on a live stream over on David Saylor's channel. Uh, my good buddy David Saylor's and uh, his friend Aaron helps put the whole thing together. And it's been really great fun on Thursday nights from uh goodness gracious from we've done it from about 5 30 until 7 sometimes a little bit later and i've been on that thing for five or six weeks and it's been great fun and uh david has had to um what with uh the covid 19 thing kind of drawing to a close and things starting to open up a little bit more david has had to reschedule his thursday night at 5 30 live streams uh, and he's moving them to uh, Tuesdays, and on Tuesdays I just I can't be on there. So, uh, you know, I've 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 invested some money in live streaming equipment, and I've gotten to where I kind of enjoy live streaming. So I thought, you know, I might just continue. Oh, uh, and uh, I might continue the Thursday night at 5:30 tradition uh, over here on my channel, and uh, Heather's. Starting to, are you over there, Heather? Hi, Heather. Hi. How you doing? Heather's kind of getting into photography a little bit, so I may uh, talk her into letting me put an ultra wide on here so we can both be on the screen uh, and do a little bit of live streaming together. Um, I, you know, I, don't, I, I didn't really plan to do this tonight uh, until the bombshell came that the schedule was changing over on David's channel, and then I kind of... Uh, quickly downloaded the proper software to kind of do this by myself but I do have a little bit of something I can present during this uh, test live stream and and who knows I, I may even announce a photo challenge for next week who who knows we'll we'll see but today uh, Heather who has you know she started out uh, she she did some photography with one of my cameras a few years ago and and uh, she's been doing a lot of really amazing iPhone photography and uh, the last two or three weeks she's kind of been doing photography with an actual camera I've been letting her use my D7100 and she's been using the um, my old 55 to 300 millimeter lens but she decided she wanted a little bit more horsepower than that and and so Heather let's see let's see if we can get her on the screen over here what'd you get Heather I got the Tamron 18 to 400 f3.5 to 6.3 one lens to, to rule, rule them all, all. Uh, so it's pretty cool and we went uh, after David's live stream tonight we went over to uh, uh, a wildlife location near us called Volkswagen wetlands and and did some photography and uh, you know it, it was way too dark but it was still a lot of fun and uh, while Heather was was uh, practicing with her new lens I was playing around with a, a new lens that I had shipped in today. This is, this is uh, 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 both of them are used, but I think Heather probably spent four hundred and fifty dollars or mm -hmm. thereabouts on hers. I spent twenty-seven dollars, including shipping. This is a Hanamex. The brand name is Hanamex, H-A-N-I-M-E-X, and it's an M42 mount lens. So it just screws on and off of your adapter, which is weird to me but that's how it works and uh, you control the aperture f 2.8 it's a 135 millimeter f 2.8 so it should just be a dynamite portrait lens and uh, pretty good in low light as well so while Heather was um, experimenting with her new Tamron 18 to 400 I experimented with taking pictures of her and also there's there's just a uh, well it's not a huge field but there's a pretty good size field of um, what do you call those things? Primrose? Primrose, yes, the official flower of Hunger Games. There is a pretty good little field of primrose on the side of the road there. As a matter of fact, that's that field of primrose is why we now have primrose around our mailbox, but we have nowhere near as many. So I, I took some pictures of that as well. And let's see if I can see if I can get this thing to go here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag the window with us down here to the side. And that should make it where you can see the uh, the window with Lightroom in it. So let's take a look. These are these are some pictures that I made with the Z6 and the Hanamex 
What a crazy brand name. Made in Korea, not made in Japan or Thailand or America. The Hanamex lens. And uh, let's see. So it's, you can't see the, uh, because it's a, it, it doesn't have an electronic connection to the camera. All you can see is the ISO, which I had on uh, automatic. And I, I did all of these at wide open f2.8. This is Heather. She was still, she works from home. Uh, she's a super smart computer person. And she was actually working and her idiot boyfriend was playing around with the camera taking pictures of her. But uh, I thought, the, you know, it's, the lens is nice and sharp and, and the, uh, the bokeh is, is attractive. And uh, these are all straight out of the camera. Now I shoot in, uh, with my Z6, I shoot in camera flat, uh, which just, it has no sharpening and it puts a ton of noise reduction on it and all the all the colors are really muted and so these haven't been edited at all but I did turn that noise reduction off and I did give them just the tiniest bit of sharpening let me I should be able to actually show you how much sharpening let's see if I can put that into develop yeah just uh, 24 on the sharpening and I, and I put the masking at 51 on all these so let's go back to there we'll make that go away and now we can look at the pictures. So there's Heather being cute, working her butt off. And here she is. She, uh, as soon as she got off of work, uh, she held up her new 18 to 400 lens and I, I took this picture looking straight on. And look how sharp, she's got beautiful eyes and I was able to get them even with the manual focus lens. Uh, pretty sharp in the kitchen there, her office. And uh, this is a new, I, pl I planted, I went over to my sister's husband's house today and he gave me, I don't know, how, how many Mexican sunflowers was that? At least 16. It was a bunch. Yeah, and I, I, I planted them all over the place. And while I, while I went to the, to the store to get some pots, I saw this flower right here. I think it's a, a black-eyed Susan or a brown-eyed Susan, something like that. I saw that flower and I said, okay, I got to have that. So... There was another pot I had to buy, and I, I took a couple of pictures of it. I think my focus point was, uh, I wonder if my pointer will show up. Hey, it does. Uh, my focus point was here, and uh, so that left this out of focus, and then the backyard is just way out of focus. Tons of shutter speed on that uh, at 2.8 on a sunny day, 3200, uh, 1 of a second on that. And here is the fat dog. It's old tubs. It's Heather's beloved um english georgia bulldog and uh, you might want to uh, take a look if you like um english bulldogs you might want to watch the video that's coming up uh this coming saturday morning at 7 30 because i think that's the one where i played around with the z6 and uh eye detect autofocus and, and took pictures of libby when she was wearing the cone of shame so uh that was a lot of fun and a uh, cute dog uh, lazy old bulldog and there she is this was this was with a you know 180th of a second really dark you can see uh, at 180th the uh, the meter landed ISO at 1000 I, I do everything manual but a lot of times I'll turn ISO to auto and let it land where it needs to land there is Heather taking a picture of me taking a picture of Heather she's got her uh, what is that? Uh, Scooby-Doo mixed with what? Supernatural. Supernatural Scooby-Doo crossover yeah. shirt that she likes to wear and uh, that was her taking a picture of me while I was taking a picture of her. And there she is working on flower pictures. There weren't too many birds and man it was dark. Uh, so look there's her eyes and the background is nice. And here's another portrait of Heather with, you know, the 135 2.8, that's a, that's a portrait lens. So, and that's what I bought it for. I, as a matter of fact, I think, and I don't know when this is going to come out, but I think I'm going to do a comparison of all of my lenses that I have that could be considered a portrait lens. So that's something I'm going to work on at some point. And then I love these primrose. I took a ton of pictures of these primrose. I'm not sure if that one's sharp, but the, the idea that my philosophy behind this photo was to try to get one photo kind of rule of thirds sharp with lots of out of focus primrose in the background so I made a few different versions of that as you can see now kind of flip through them 
I get a little carried away, I guess. I tend to do that. But like I say, none of these are, are edited other than the than the uh, tiny bit that I showed you. They haven't been cropped or, or anything. And there's Heather working on a composition. Now look at this. This is one reason why people say it's a good idea to get low. This was standing up, and then when I sat down, look how much better this composition is of Heather with her new lens. And look, she's got the same camera bag as me. I, I have uh, two of those uh, old 2011 low pro uh, pro runner 200 aws i've got two of those and heather bought one for 35 bucks in absolutely brand new condition from what was keh from keh cool so and then she also has a brand new carbon fiber tripod so she is ready to rock and roll we are uh we're going to become a uh, photography duo uh if things keep going like this and there she is working on another one. She did get a uh, blue gray gnat catcher. Uh, it was kind of a tough shot, but she got one. I'm telling you, uh, I guarantee you, the day I bought my first telephoto lens, I didn't get a blue gray gnat catcher. So she is on fire. Oh, and look, she put this. She put this lemon tag on hers so she can tell it apart from my bags because they look exactly the same. More primrose. More primrose. More primrose and that was it that's the that does it for the pictures that we made uh, or that i made let's see oh i need to come over to this window and make this thingy let's drag them back up here to where i fill up the screen yeah i can do this that's not so hard all right so there we are uh we're back up and um you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to stay on here forever this evening, but I, I think this coming Thursday, a week from tonight, uh, at 5.30 Eastern, I think I might try to do another live stream. Uh, it probably won't be 90 minutes long, but it'll, it'll, I think it's going to happen. I, you know, I'm, this is all tentative. I'm trying to get my act together, but um, I think I might ask for folks to submit some pictures because uh, just like I was able to go through those pictures that I made um, today I should be able to flip through some of yours and uh, make nice comments about them so uh, what about a subject I think I'm gonna ask for you to send two pictures and one of them is gonna be your favorite picture you've made so far this year and the other ones your favorite one you've made this month so let's start out with kind of like a greatest hits sort of a thing and uh, just email those to me and my email address and and if you can put a watermark on there you know that way uh, if I'm ever 10 years from now flipping through my pictures on my computer I don't say oh that was a picture I didn't remember making you put your watermark on it and also rename the file to have your name in it or your username on YouTube or or whatever um, I don't you know you don't have to worry about resizing it or anything I got plenty of bandwidth but um, the my email address is Miata like the little Mazda sports car M I A T A and then my name P H I L at gmail dot com so Miata Phil at gmail dot com and I'll, I'll put I'll put that into the description of this live stream uh, and uh, when those come in, I'll, we'll go through them this coming Thursday night at 5.30. And uh, hopefully hopefully uh, we'll get some submissions and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I look forward to seeing you hopefully this coming Thursday night. Now i got to figure out how to make the live stream stop. And I really don't know. Click here. Oh, Heather knows. In the stream. I'm going to end the stream. Goodbye. You want to say bye, Heather? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.